Let's applaud them. Entertainment presents Quinton's Animation Extravaganza, episode 184, The Legendary Bird. days of the battle against the Black Cross Army. I'd gotten all eight transformation badges, which were required to get help from each legendary bird. Miyako Momokon Kaoru told me about the Firebird, who lived in Victory Road, on the way to the Indigo Plateau. Guess you just had to have him in order to exterminate the Black Cross Army. Oh, I did! So I went all the way to Victory Road, showing each of eight guards their respective badges they needed to see, and found the Firebird, aka Moltres. I showed him the eight transformation badges, and he accepted to help me when needed. Oh yeah, that was when we were fighting Iron Spider Mask! I can still remember what Sarah had to go through in that battle! Oh yeah, but he easily got over it. Well, go on, what happened next? After the Black Cross Army was extinct and I resurrected all our fallen friends and families, Moltres told me they had two brothers who were also willing to help me if I had all eight transformation badges. The following Monday, I went to the abandoned power plant past Cerulean City and found one of Moltres' brothers, the Thunderbird, aka Zapdos. I showed him my eight transformation badges and he accepted to help me. I then resurrected everyone that was killed by the Black Crusaders. Guess you decided to do it for the Gorangers, huh? Yep. Two days later, I went to Seafoam Islands to find the final legendary bird, the Freezer Bird, aka Articuno. I showed him my eight transformation badges and he accepted to help me whenever needed. All three legendary birds were reunited. Didn't you get them so you could help the Sailor Sentry take down the Dark Kingdom? Oh yeah, guess I didn't need them after all. Anyway, on the last Tuesday of February, Twilight told me that she borrowed the loot three legendary birds and sent them to Professor Oak so that he could collect data on them for his Magical Creature Encyclopedia, a device that is a complete guide on all 151 magical creatures. That was Oak's dream. Did his dream become a reality? Definitely. That was due to me capturing the rarest and most powerful species of all, Mew, and its genetically modified clone, Mew 2. Wow, I wonder what his Magical Creature Encyclopedia looks like. Beats me, but if that wasn't enough, then wait till you hear this. What is it? Well, apparently, there have been reported findings of 39 new species. Oh wow, that would bring the total to 190. However, I'll just wait until those species are confirmed. I see. Anyway, we're heading back now. Bye-bye! Well, I am really thirsty right now, so I think I'll stop by Hooper's door for a soda. Come on. Hello, Quentin. How are you today? Doing just fine. In fact, I was thinking about the three legendary birds and how I obtained them. I see. Anyway, what will it be today? I'll just have a Diet Coke, please. Coming right up. You know, I think I might be sensing some new species of magical creatures, 39 in all. But I might need to find out for myself. Alright, one bottle of Diet Coke. Drink to your health. Thank you! Hey, thanks for taking the trip down memory lane with us. I don't know when I'll find out if 39 new species have been discovered, but I'm sure I'll get to it eventually. Stop by whenever crime attacks again, okay? Alright, see you later.
This episode was an original story created entirely for this show. Written by Quentin Cole, copyright 2019. This program is a production of Quetzalcoatl Entertainment. This is PBS, the public broadcasting service.